Hello everyone. Welcome back to Starkey Forms. This I want to talk to you about a very important topic. Several people have asked me about Sam, aren't you worried about growing organic food knowing they're dumping toxic chemicals in our skies down on us? Now, before you get rid of me and you say, oh, she's a conspiracy theorist, you need to look at New Hampshire's House Bill 1700. Just did a video on it. It literally prohibits countries, federal government, and companies as well as individuals from cloud seeding and using other chemicals to either block the sun, cause it to rain, or whatever nonsense they're trying to do that week. That bill is literally opening to do the door for more people to understand that what comes down with our rain can be toxic to humans, to the soil, to animals, as well as what's in our waterways. So today, the whole video, you guys, is just gonna be a quick, how do you mitigate the dangers of what's coming from the sky and going on your food? The first thing you do not wanna do is till the earth. When you till, you're exposing the soil to the sun, to the chemicals, okay? You're literally removing the skin off the soil and exposing its soft ports to all those toxic chemicals. There is a reason that when a tree is not standing in a spot, stuff like grass, it's usually native grasses, flowers, what we call weeds, pop up in that place. It's protecting the soil from being exposed to chemicals and to the sun, all right? The reason I keep saying you're exposing the soil to the sun is because once soil is exposed to the heat of the sun, you guys, and to the light, you're killing off your microorganisms and your fungi, which can't thrive in that situation. If you know anything about gardening and soil health, you understand how important fungi happens to be to soil health. So don't till. Do not till. I know. That's what they taught you. That's what your grandfather taught you. That's what you see on TV. That's what you think of when you think of farming. Somebody on a tractor tilling the earth. Stop doing it. You're exposing your soil to the chemicals coming from the sky. What you want to do is cover your soil in cover crops, which is all the green stuff popping up back here, in rotted hay, rotted straw, leaves, whatever, pine straw, cardboard, wood chips, literally whatever you can get out here to put a layer of protection on your soil. Point in case. We just got seven inches of rain in the last four days. I'm walking in my garden. This is my garden I'm walking in. See that? Look at that. No mud standing anywhere. None of that nonsense. And the reason is, is my soil is not bare. It's covered. Therefore, there is a skin on top of my soil. Let me show you the water running around the edges of my garden. See that? <laughs> All that water running. Now look where my dogs are. They shouldn't be in there, but they're actually in my garden. And what do you not see? any running water, any mud, no standing water in my actual garden. But you walk the perimeters of my garden, you guys, and look at the standing water. So my question to you is why? Why is water standing in the yard, but not in the garden? I'm gonna tell you why. Your soil is compacted. When you see standing water, the soil's compacted. The water cannot filtrate into the soil, you guys. So my garden is being amended. My soil is like a sponge. It has little like compartments of air and compost and worm castings and little canals made by earthworms. So when the water hits that, 
the mulch slows it down and then the water trickles into the sponge-like material below it, the soil. So stop tilling. Because I know what your gardens are looking like if you have a tilled garden. It looks like a big pile of mud. I know. I see people with this problem all the time, especially in Louisiana. Stop tilling. So where's the water in my garden? The heavy mulch, the cover crops, are slowing the water down so much that the soil beneath all of that has time to absorb the water. So in the summertime, when we get rains like this, I don't have to water my garden for up to seven days in over 100 degree weather because the water moves through the heavy mulch into the soil and then the heavy mulch protects it from being evaporated by the sun. Guys, it's not that hard but you are going to have to rethink how you think about farming. If you're gonna survive with the changes that are coming to our environment, whether those changes are man-made, New Hampshire's bill says they're man-made, or it's climate change, either way, you're going to have to start heavy mulching, no tilling, using cover crops, integrating livestock into your rotational soil health program when you can god bless you guys i hope this helps and let me tell you something else this heavy mulch on the ground is going to break down into compost in place which will feed the soil will also encourage earthworms to come up from the depths of the soil if you don't know anything about earthworms they can remove heavy metals and toxins from the soil. So people say, aren't you afraid of all the heavy metals they're dropping on us and the chemtrails getting in your food, Sam? I would be if I didn't understand that God already put something in place to negate that, to mitigate it. Those are earthworms. But if your garden's tilled up, your soil is bare, mm, then well, even if you're organic, Unfortunately, everything they're dumping from the sky is just getting right into your soil and then right back to your food. We can fight anything they throw at us if we understand the processes behind what we're doing. God bless you guys. I now have to move my entire group of chickens from the money compost pile to the electric fence area over here so they can start knocking down my cover crops and they can get out of the mud because I've got some big orders for compost this week and they're actually walking all in it muddying it up like soup I need it to dry out I need to protect their feet and well I don't like buying feed so why not put them in the garden and let them eat for free God bless you guys work it guys work smarter not harder please like comment and subscribe